to that to a position where of, of, author, of some authority in schools, I always reminded teachers of what a great opportunity they had, what a great responsibility they had. To and they could bend the twig, just like McKin my teacher McKinnon had done for me. So. It's a very important uh, profession that you're going into, and I, I think from what you're saying, you, you, real, I, I re, you realise that that is so. Why did you choose to study uh, art education? Well, just let's just extend that a little bit more. Why did you choose to study art education, and in what ways is education important to you and others? And can you give examples of that? It started in years 11 and 12. I, I was okay at other things, but didn't really have my grounding. I wasn't sure what direction I was going in. And then I had the support of uh, Sharon Hardy, and she really she pro provided a, a significant role model for me. She, she was kind of the person I aspired to be. And as I started getting better and better at visual art, I thought, I could one day hopefully be a, a good role model as she was for me and coming in through COFA, doing the four years and reaching the end, uh, having the support of an ex-COFA graduate as my mentor, it all clicked, it, it's, it's just one big cycle um, and I hope, I know it's already been mentioned to me a few times that in a few years I'll have my students coming to me and I hope that I can continue that cycle. I mean, I know I'm only a young teacher, but yeah, I can't, I can't wait. I chose to study art education because at school, uh, there was a point at school where I was like, you know, what, what, am I, what am I good at? So I remember there was a point at school and I just like, that about a month, there was a period at school where a month I'd just, before I'd go to bed every night, I'd pray and I'd be like, God, can you just tell me what I'm good at? Like, where, where am I going? Like, um, and then I found this really strong drive in my art class and I found myself really excelling in my art class. Um, and I just naturally developed this passion for it. And it was just one of those things where, you know, I could go down into the art studios and just turn the radio on and spend hours down there and lose track of time. Oh. And I just started oh. developing this big passion for it. It was also, as a teenager, it was a good point of expression too. So I could, you know, express all the things that I wanted to through my art making. So it started in my art classroom with my art teacher, I must say. Oh. Um, and, and, you know, st I started to become top of my class at art in this big fancy school that I was at. Um, so that's what drove me, that's what, you know, sparked the flame yeah. inside of me. And then, I th and then one day I went and visited my brother after school and um, he said to me, Sis, why don't you become a teacher? And I said, what, why a teacher? And he said, oh, because, you know, they get good holidays and it's good pay and um, when you have kids, you'll have your breaks with them. And he said, you'll be deadly working with all those kids. I went home and it sort of festered in my brain for two years after he said that. And, um, and then, yeah, I thought, yeah, a teacher, that's what I want to do. And, um, and, and I thought, why not combine this love I have for, you know, talking a lot and working with people and art and why don't I just mix them together? And um, I've always been driven too. Like, in my life, I don't want to just do, go down a career path that impacts me positively. I want it to have a flow on effect with other people. And that's what teaching, I think, gives me. So that's why I've combined both my passions of art and teaching together. And that's why I'm studying art education. It was a natural progression. However, um, I wasn't really engaged with any other subjects at school. And, and once art picked up and I learned that I was a visual learner and I could learn through images and, and actually portray um, emotions or feelings or statements through art, um, it sort of clicked and, and I figured I need to push this forward and, and let other people know that this is an avenue for all those things. I wouldn't understand, uh, looking back while I was at school, especially for up until year 10, I wouldn't consider education to be that important. But looking back on it as 
uh, from a more of a, a mature, I'm only 26, but here I'm still, I'm a, a mature age student. But um, looking at it now, you just, it, you realize how important it actually is and, and how much it can affect your future. And having an education um, is just a way to, to better your life and, and, and also have influence on those around you. Well, when I first decided what I wanted to be when I grew up, I had this fascination with architecture and urban design, and I knew and still do absolutely love it. Um, it wasn't until when I realised we were picking universities and that sort of stuff that the ATA was so high, it was like a 97 ATA to get into yes. it. And I knew that was totally out of my reach, even though if I studied so hard for it, I just knew it was impossible to get. And so I decided to pick my best, my second favourite thing was visual arts. And I was talking to my visual arts art teacher and she said, no, you'll be an amazing art teacher because you have such a passionate and love for art. And that's when I sort of got this ball rolling that I wanted to study visual arts and especially go into teaching and, you know, expressing and my love of art and to other people. I wanted to teach uh, because I could see that there are a lot of people around me that didn't further their education. So, you know, parents and aunts and uncles. Some of my aunts and uncles did, um, at, but a lot of community, a lot of Indigenous people from where I grew up, they they didn't have many options and they, they didn't see university as a they didn't get that opportunity to, to do those extra steps. So I thought, well, I've got the chance to do that. Um, and teaching is a really, or education is a really stable start to doing something with your life. And I'm just, I, I can't seem to, even though at the moment I don't really have um, visual arts in my actual job, what I'm doing at the moment, I've never gotten away from it. I'm always, it's always been important to me because it's a whole other way to understand the world and it's a way to connect with other people that you, I don't think you can do in any other way. So I think um, at, at, toward the end of high school, it made a lot of sense to me to put those two together and, and do, the, do the Bachelor of Art Education here. Yeah. Um, why is it valuable to have in, uh, Aboriginal art teachers uh, within our education system? Well, it's incredibly important because there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, opportunity to teach Aboriginal art in the curriculum and I think that in the past there's been a bit of a disjointed um, way of doing it and we've all we're all familiar with the Clifford Possum emu footprint handout and you know make a story based on these prints and let's study the artists that are from uh, Western Australia or the Northern Territory but what I found in my couple of years of teaching in high schools is that kids are much more open to learning about Aboriginal art if you take the process and teach that to them. So rather than saying, here's a key, like a legend to a map, and now we're going to get you to tell a story in the same way this artist who's obviously like, that's, those are his symbols from his culture, it's not going to make sense to, um, to every student. So. I had a little bit of success with getting students to understand the the process so that that the the Aboriginal artwork that we are looking at is about a particular experience or a trip from here to there or it's about the land from the top down and you know using that visual language using the same principles that the Aboriginal artist is using uh, and creating an artwork that's about your own experience and your view of the world rather than just using it like a key or a legend. Why is it valuable to have uh, Aboriginal art teachers um, within our education system? As, as you said before, there was no one before you mm. and if people aren't shown the possibility that that can happen and that you could return to your community then how are you ever going to know that it is a possibility and you do have the ability to do it? When I left COFA and to do my, intern my teaching internship, I returned back to Canemble High and it was a really great experience to be in a classroom where I'd gone through school and then be able to teach kids and say, I went through here, I went through to year 12 here, I went and got my degree and now I'm home again. Um, and it, and it made it quite an impact. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it was a it it is it was a great role model. Yeah, it was, and it was a great experience for me yeah. as a person. So, um, and I know it was definitely um, a really good experience for my teacher, who was her first year out in year, when I was in year twelve to still be teaching there and yeah. to return and. In the same way, lots of my fa family, uh, my nieces and nephews, went into teaching mm. because they saw that, that it was possible. Yeah. And uh, yeah, um, and I think it's <laughs> it's very important for uh, the presence of any Indigenous person in a school. It's more important than the, the great times of paper and. Uh, and the and the policies that yeah. uh, not too many people look at, but yeah. when they see an indigenous indigenous person uh, on the premises, uh, they have something to contend with every day. Yeah. And it's a good. Uh, uh, I th I thought it was. Uh, uh, we are good sources of corrective history, yeah. and people will say, oh, "I didn't know that." And they'll make a statement. I did, and you, you were able to correct them, um, and it's uh, in a sort of a kindly sort of atmosphere that that correction is done. Yeah. yeah. The other thing about being having Aboriginal art teachers in the classroom is that you're actually you have the knowledge to know what is, I guess not not correct, but what they should be learning about. The real, the rich part of their culture right. that they that they can access through the art, rather than just studying it from an outside view and saying, you know, here's a book on Northern Territory Aboriginal art and let's study that. It's not just another race. It becomes so much more real. Yeah. 